related weather story here actually it's been a week since the torrential downpours that left many homes torn up some even unlivable they all came together at the town hall in veterans night searching for answers wnyhg's kelly meyer was at the meeting and joins us live in the studio with the story kelly what can be done to help these people who have so much damage Jennifer, they really don't have many options in terms of where to go for money, but they did think of two solutions tonight that should give them some relief. People on Clare Street in Pine Valley are ready for some answers. Packing their cars and packing the parking lot at Veteran Town Hall. They're just one of the streets that got hit hard by the rain and are looking for help. Do I continue paying taxes on a house that I can't live in? With the car, I'm why I'm trying to put a roof over my family? People from all over the county got together at the town board meeting in Veteran to find some answers from local and county officials. Families like the Spencers who are still unable to get into their home after water surrounded them on Smith Street in Pine Valley. Mm -hmm. Tired and stressed out. <laughs> Frustrated because Frustrated. we're having a hard time getting back into the trailer and yep. getting things out of there. But did they get the answers they were hoping for? I didn't really saw anything that I came down for hoping for something better than that. Many people in the room didn't have flood insurance or any help with the cost of damages. Officials tried to step in to find ways to help. My thought is this, there is no way that we can fix everything, but at least get started. There were some things that they recommended tonight that I think made some sense and we can do them pretty quickly, so let's get started and figure out when we can do them. They want to make sure the streams are clear from debris and excess rocks and continue to look for help for the families. County Emergency Management, on behalf of State Emergency Management, is, is, has these damage assessment forms uh, that they're giving out. They're available at the town halls, uh, so a constituent can go in and get the form, fill it out with what their damage estimates are, uh, and those are all going to be compiled, delivered to State Emergency Management, and evaluated uh, on an overall basis uh, to see what assistance may be available. But the cleanup still continues. They plan on having another meeting next Thursday, same place at Veteran Town Hall at 7.30. Kelly Meyer, WENY, HG News.